Tommy's Wall House. A video. How to keep the son of a culture in Mary's. Truth from reaching the world. I am Melton, son of a carpenter, Mary, dad of a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom, Mary Ann. I am the son of a carpenter, Mary, I get to tell parables. This is my Tommy parable series about the streets, about the unseen business. Oh, our fiction. Uh, gene pools full of people, taking turns being one person, not just a famous person, but uh, someone next door. Gene pools full of Folks taking turns being folks all over the world, staged events, making sure something happens a certain way, be it uh, with a conversation in one room between two people, or a city full, a stadium full, a country full of people. Pick up your phone, get your street resume out there, describe what the streets are, they write themselves out of history books. They uh, write themselves out of songs, book, regular books, uh, movies, pop culture of any kind. So have a little fun. It's our fiction. It's not going to make it to the evening news unless, of course, it's supposed to be there. And if it's supposed to be there, you damn sure, you damn sure, excuse me, blue-eyed DNA and brown-eyed DNA are fighting it out with my vocal cords. If it's supposed to be on the evening news, you sure the hell better be. Again, that uh, that description of the streets out there, because the top of the streets is mean. If they want it out there, you better have it out there. It's our fiction. And with any fiction, you're going to find a little truth. In particular, this is my parable series about Tommy the No Arm Chinese fellow, the, the Oriental sea, Streets, the Chinese Unseen Business. How'd Tommy get to be missing both arms? His boss, Lou, gave him a management test, told him to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. Tommy's always been blindly obedient. He slowly fed that right arm into the wood chipper. Lefty saw what was going on with righty the right arm, and lefty the left arm jumped off. Oh, got a nice hand modeling career going on. Takes trips to Vegas, very good at the one arm bandit. And uh, you wouldn't believe it, but Tommy got a promotion for being, you know, a good brown noser. They love that in the Orient. He's bossing a whole lot of folks around. He also won his girlfriend's heart. He's always been scaly. He always says, talked with a horse and a lisp. He likes to stick his tongue out a lot. The Oriental people, as a general rule, have been sticking their tongue out the rest of the world for countless millennia. I'll make that video of what you know about that and put it on that uh, trillion tales of the Oriental devils. Class drive in your neighborhood, your city, your part of the world. Only you can tell that story, you know about the the devils keeping you from talking to me right now 424-229-4140 make a video of that that's very real stuff he can think of everything that occurs on this side of my videos my side as being attention getting until you don't talk to me in person Jesus is a immaculate house I'm serious as anything about that come see me let's build But uh, just consider it attention getting to get you to pick up that phone. Anything you hear that seems very mean or very off the wall, consider it attention getting to get you to pick up your family's lifeline and make a video of America's hijack lifelines. Those who are hijacking your calls to me, guys, are worried enough about it to alter phone records to cover it up. So make that video. Not one 9-11 Flight 93 check in a decade of asking. Make that video if you had that call to me. You don't know when else that phone won't be allowed to work. Because of political, religious, business, censorship. If it stops your lifeline from working 
When do you need the firemen and police paramedics, guys? Is that political or religious censorship is going to be just as newsworthy. That's me asking for a 93 chick for a decade and not getting one. What's it going to do to uh, have you making a video of America's Hijack Lifeline? Those worried enough about it. They're crying of hijacking America's Lifeline. Those worried enough about it. They're organized crime that can place a cowardly Hussein in our White House right after we get attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Hussein. Those worried enough about that to cover up the crimes by altering phone records? You're making a video of before the phone records get altered. You got the timestamp on your phone, you got the number dialed. Oh, and one of my fun, serious, parables about uh, the devil's people walking among us that come from all races and places, all different kinds of background, the devil's people walking among us. Pick up your phone, see him hijacking your call to me. It's called, you know, evil, the bad people of the world, the devil's people walking among us. In one of those, um, a fireman has just gotten back to his fire station with the rest of the firemen. Now he says, oh, good. I got back just in time. I've got 245. They've gotten organized. Those uh, making videos of America's hijack lifelines, they're calling me every minute of every day. And Tony, the fireman, oh, Tony, don't worry about it. If you got stuff to do, do that. We understand. Get around to making that video of America's Hijack Lifelines when you can. Same for the cops and uh, priests and all of that. Uh, make videos of the fire station's phone, the police station's phone, the military base's phone. Yeah, I know all of you guys can be busy at times. Whenever you get around to it, it's my fun. Calling every minute of the day. Terrible. To point out dangerous folks that place the cowardly Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins. With 9 11. Oh, that's the old number. Uh, lost it in 2014, lost 80 pounds, ended up in the hospital with the stigmata wounds. Oh, there, here's one of them. Remember to ask and answer Jesus' question. You can put Trump's name in, in if you want. Is Barack Hussein Obama a terrorist? I've been asking for 93 checks, 911 flight 93 checks for over a decade. See the phone is every child in America's lifeline that you're making a video of. And make a video of every child in America's lifeline being hijacked. I've been asking for a decade, I've got my answer. You make a video of your family's hijacked lifeline as you try to call me. Oh, that's more genetic. Uh, it's a change, not necessarily a wound. But I'm doing a little genetic carpentry as a son of a carpenter, Mary. Dad, that carpenter worked on skyscrapers, Mom, Mary. Ann. You know what's going on with that? Come see me in person. My doctors can't talk about those uh, chains and eyes. At least the ones I've had so far. Now, uh, they also can't talk about those 93 checks either. So that kind of puts it in perspective. Make that video, and uh, yeah, Tony goes around to it. He makes that video of the fire station's phone. He knows uh, whatever is hijacking America's lifelines when he tries to call me. If it is hijacking someone in his neighborhoods, his cities, their lifeline, meaning they can't reach him, Tony's firehouse. In the same way, Tony can't reach me from that firehouse. Fire station, whatever you call it. He knows uh, he has to be the reporter. It will mean more coming from firemen, policemen, priests, soldiers. Good church goers as well. Make that video, post that video. Whatever you get when you don't get me, John Melton Brady, 424-229-4140. You got the timestamp on your phone. You got the number dialed. You got crime. They're altering phone records to cover that up. Cover that up. It's more than about... Uh, mm. 
you not reaching me uh, to tell me what you believe. That's what I mean by Jesus as a Magdalene house. It's more than about that because uh, a lot of folks are feel uh, religious, strong religiously about religious censorship, but that is their lifeline. You can't call me up. Oh, find this as a good night three check image. Americans for unhijacked lifelines and fairly elected officials. Meaning, if you were calling around 10 years ago to say they're trying to pull a fast one, they're using our Hollywood uh, slash Mideast news media. Oh, I saw a TV show, NCIS. Uh, it's a very good show, but it does have a uh, Osama PR campaign going. And uh, this season, or last season, I was watching it, and uh, yeah, the one with the baby in the hospital, the baby's in the hospital, one of the cast members. Uh, and they said um, one of the uh, the newer members of the uh, team said, uh, well, actually the writers have said it through her, but uh, terrorists are driven by their beliefs. Oh, no, they're not. They're driven by their cowardice. Them being uh, deadly, murderous uh, cowards. They're driven by their hatred. Make that video of America's hijack lifelines and post it. And yeah, I hear a lot of good firemen, policemen, military uh, soldiers and such are uh, making uh, videos of those. Uh, I call it the Osama PR campaign because you already saw those two videos of Osama bin Laden. He's a bloodthirsty killer. He's got uh, plenty of uh, mayhem under his uh, bed sheet or belt, whatever you call it. They always had him calmly addressing his, his uh, I call it the yoga instructor one, calmly addressing his people and then being tough and firing that rifle. It was a PR campaign that all of the media were taking part in. Yeah, I haven't got one comment about that Osama rumor that Obama is Osama bin Laden's son. Oh, you politically correct guys, you can't have it both ways. They're mixing stuff up all over the place, put Osama bin Laden here and Barack Hussein Obama there and you check out those eyes. You'll see what I mean. Better yet, pick up your family's lifeline. Try to call me and see what every news reporter in the country is not doing their job about. Your family's hijacked lifeline. 424-229-4140. Make a video of Osama bin Laden's son hijacking your lifeline. Come tell me what you think about that Osama rumor in person. Now back to my Tommy. I need to finish this up. It's 13 minutes. I'm just starting to feel better after uh, earlier in the week. Uh, the devil Lori knocking on the door uh, uh, not doing its job and being uh, a uh, active part of America's hijack lifelines call up all LAPD all uh, they were responding to an anonymous uh, hatred noise complaint and they made sure to knock on the anonymous callers a door to let the one immediately down below me know who was making the anonymous report and they were incredibly disrespectful and I swear that uh, a woman's after shave made me sick that night. I couldn't get to sleep. I was sick the next day, next day. Uh, this was back on Tuesday night. And, uh, yeah. Call up. Uh, put the numbers of every California cop on the back of the five. Good folks aren't going to have a problem. You give them an opportunity to distinguish themselves from that which knocks on the door. Give them that opportunity to be law enforcement officers if they know what a 9-11 flight 93 check. That's me asking in their state. Oh, 
state, county, city, they know what a 911 plate 93 check is. That's you trying to call me and not uh, being able to with that check of your lifeline to make sure it works all the time. In a decade, if they don't know at this point, after a decade of me asking, videos, my big fives, all kinds of 93 check imagery, they are involved or they are incompetent. You give the good, honest ones an opportunity to distance themselves from the devils right alongside them. If they can, uh, if they know what a 911 flight 93 check is, if they don't, educate them. You got your wife's phone. You're calling with a speaker phone. You get them at home, they don't mind me being disturbed at my home. And you ask them, what do you know about this? When else from my family's lifeline, I'll be allowed to work because what you're taking part in in California. Good cops across America. You call up your uh, brethren out here in California and you ask them. Come see me in person. You're not being intimidated. You're not going to be intimidated by those with badges on the chest. They, they don't know what a 9-3 check is. Badges on their chest, they don't deserve to wear. Guns on their hips, they sure the hell shouldn't be wearing. And she made sure the whole time she was kind of turned this way with her gun. You know, in the holster there. Pointed right at me. And I did notice as uh, I opened up the door after asking uh, several times who's out there. And that was a bad idea to open it up. I should have called the police and made sure it was them. The uh, partner standing 10 feet that way. Uh, he said uh, he's in a wheelchair as the door was opening. I think it was, uh, it means he, as a character, as a cop, a particular cop from Northeastern, whatever station they have here in Eagle Rock, as a cop, she has to have cues for her to let her know. Like it's a uh, priest with a shiny coffee mug. Don't shoot him. Make that video of America's High Tech Life Lines. You call them up left and right. They are actively taking part or they are eager for you to demonstrate America's High Tech Life Lines to them so they can make that report about them being called by fellow citizens of other states about uh, California's active part in taunting a man in a wheelchair about him Handing out truth, making videos of truth. Get uh, get those numbers on the backs of five. Call them up. Ask them. What do you know about this? When else in my family's life will I not be allowed to work because of what's going on in California? I'm just the tip of the iceberg, guys. Uh, I bet you think. I, I bet you know. If your phone's not allowed to work because of political, religious, and business censorship, it's going to be just as newsworthy when you need the firemen, police, paramedics. It'll be just as newsworthy as you, as me, asking for a 93 check for a, a decade now and not getting one. Now let me get to my Tommy. I can kind of drag things out and I, I need to become um, more brief. But uh, Tommy, he wants to brown those. And so he has volunteered to prepare a video for the Wall House. The Wall House is... Uh, what the Great Wall of Evil, that place is a cowardly Hussein in our White House, right after we got attacked by a whole lot of other cowardly Husseins, currently has the buffoon Russian guy in there. And also has just me and all of this imagery, 25,000 plus examples of my work you can find as 4x6 photos. A DVD label is not included. At vote-truth.blogspot.com, as well as the daffodilias, you'll see in those, uh, those links. That's just me and all of that, and the Wall House uh, supports that. It uh, provides, uh, perhaps they needed a um, police officer's, a couple of police officer's uniforms, so Tommy went to the, uh, to the Wall House and got a couple of police uniforms out there. Who knows? I do know they were incredibly disrespectful and taunting of a man in a wheelchair. They need to be addressed. In particular, find out what's in Eagle Rock with uh, 
LAPD and call them up. Not emergency lines. Ask them, what do you know about this? Home numbers. What do you know about this? When else will my phone not be allowed to work because of what you're doing out there in California? Now enough of that. Tommy is preparing the video and it's Rhea's day off and he got the, you know, tripod set up. He got his uh, big easel with uh, his notes, a little design there telling everyone you study the internet, everyone with the devil's people walking among us, evil folks worldwide. Part of that attack from the outside and then they attack from the inside, covering both areas with that politically correct uh, on one side that uh, gives us the evening news. But uh, he's preparing it for a whole lot of other uh, folks of the wall house yes he's brown nosing with woo and he tells them you, you study the internet you look for anything that resembles mountains imagery in any videos posts or reposts of folks uh, particularly the big fives he goes on to say and he gets everything prepared and once again it's for his day off his girlfriend and um, then he puts it on the computer and uh, he puts it on flash drive because it's, it's easier for him than burning the DVDs, but he uses, you know, the computer in Rhea's uh, art studios. He's chipping away at the Tommy DeMilo, you know, him, you know, no arms, uh, her art project. He puts a whole bunch of, he got it bought, bought in bulk and gets that video on there. And you know, the only problem is he goes to hand it out. He sends a big shipment of them to uh, Wu to you know, show off and Brown knows. And he puts, uh, Rhea likes to hand out my imagery to her friends and those at uh, where she works. And she has uh, Melton's latest uh, imagery, those 25,000 plus, plus you know, these are in their own folder. And he throws them all on there. He doesn't know what he's doing. And he takes them to work, and he's handing out those flash drives. Of course, the only thing he's got to hand out is, is unless he kicks off that loafer. He hands out the whole handful of flash drives to Leah, Mia, Jane, the Karens. A few of the Karens are there. Don't get me started on that. It's already 22 minutes, 23 minutes. But uh, he he gets that done, and then he, he, he watches the video with them. And yeah, he realizes uh, not only the videos there, but the uh, the imagery as well. And he feels kind of sick, and it's not because of just you know making the mistake. Yeah, he had a whole bunch of blast drives. Actually, he swallowed a blast drive. So they call Rhea up. She comes out there to uh, meet them at the hospital, and they X-ray, and they see it's a blast drive in there. And the yeah, the doctor, you know, whatever they do, induce vomiting, or they gotta cut him open and go get it. But before they, of course, hand it to him, they see what's on it and uh, make sure everybody at the hospital has Melton's imagery as well. I'm Melton. So I'm called to Mary. It's up to 24 minutes. I seriously gotta work on brevity. 15 minutes or under tomorrow. I promise. 191. I'm just so worked up about the, uh, yeah, being as uh, obvious as that. Obvious as the devil's people walking among us can be. Make those videos of America's Hijack Lifelines, put those numbers on the backs of fives. California's law enforcement, give them an opportunity to be law enforcement or be uh, corrupt and cowardly. Poster, poster, Christ Complex designer. You only have to tell a joke perfectly once and get it on video. Uh, also works for the serious stuff, what you believe in. Put that on the video, get it to the world. And this is uh, the eye from 2013, March 2013. It's a little darker, especially with the print there. You can hardly see the light blue stuff. This is about a year later and it's a little lighter. And this part here is missing. I'm going to show you real quick. And this part here is kind of whitish. 
the past few days, especially since uh, that aftershave incident. The eyes have looked a little different. I uh, see what they look like now. Plus the, the left one has. Yeah, I got my uh, wheelchair back, that's good. Yeah, back yesterday, today is uh, Saturday. Yeah, there's the, uh, there's the eyes. And it's, it's a little bit covered up now, but that right there, if you saw yesterday's and the day before it even, that kind of spoke coming down in this direction on this side of the center of the eye was a much more pronounced. And yes, uh, it can be all whitish that there around the black, the brown part that's slowly disappearing and you don't see that outer part there anymore. Genetic carpentry, if you know what uh, going on with that, you're a good doctor, come see me in person. Make that video of uh, your lifeline, your family's lifeline, your uh, practice's lifeline, your hospital's lifeline, not working as you try to call me. Post it. Say, we the people must be the reporters, they're not doing the jobs. And yes, um, come tell me, what does that place need to inspire the future and present to greatness with? Jesus has a Immaculate House, you don't have to call it that. You can call it an opportunity house, an opportunity for a whole lot of good folks worldwide to build a better world. I just tell you, Jesus is a Immaculate House because there, there will be a test at the end. Uh, I hear it's pass, fail, or uh, purgatory.